You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. On Saturday, October 14th, a partial eclipse will be visible in the area beginning roughly at 11.30 a.m. The University of Pikeville's Kentucky College of Optometry is doing their part to inform the public about safe ways to view the celestial event. The college will also be using the eclipse as a learning tool both in and out of the classroom. So the 14th at approximately 11.30 to 1.30 is the viewing time for this area of the country and it'll be roughly a 40% eclipse of the sun. And so here at the Kentucky College of Optometry, we are all about uh, eyes and eye safety. And so we hope to provide folks with some information about how they can protect themselves when they're viewing this event. We incorporated in the sense of uh, explaining to folks about filters, about how filters work and the density of certain filters and how they would protect uh, their patients, their future patients from that, okay? And also we wanna use it as an, uh, an opportunity to provide you know, public service announcements to protect patients and instruct them on how to safely view the event. Because the moon partially obscures the view of the sun, any light shining through is magnified and can cause eye damage. Luckily, there are a few tools that can be used to observe it. If you're gonna view it directly, then you need some kind of eye protection that you would wear, okay? And it needs to be approved, uh, have an ISO certification on it, okay? So that these are approved for viewing events such as this. So if you're gonna directly view it, you know, then you're gonna place glasses on like this and so that you can view the event. If you're gonna use some, something else, a camera, telescope, binoculars, it needs to have the appropriate filters. There's also another way that can be done with uh, like a pinhole, uh, like a pinhole box. And folks can Google that. You can make them pretty easily, even in your backyard, to be able to view the event through a pinhole box. But the crucial thing is never to view the event directly with no protection. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.